Hey guys, I'm going to try something a little different today. I got my ultralight reel out, a uh, six pound braid on with a little uh, 05 series PTI quantum reel. And what I'm going to do is I got some dough treble hooks, just little ones size eight. And I got some bread. I went for a run last night and by one of the ponds by my house, literally a block away, literally a block away now that the construction is taking a break. Uh, I saw a bunch of fish by the shore and I walked down and there's hundreds of small carp down there by the aerators. So I'm just going to put this little, I don't know if you can see it, this little dough treble hook. Uh, and if you're looking for these, I'll send a link below in the description. And like I said, I'm just going to squeeze some bread around that. And as many as I saw, it shouldn't be a problem. I've never carp fished before specifically. I've caught carp. But uh, the size of these small carp ought to be fun on the ultralight. I want to take a cut piece of wood. All right, you done cutting? Hopefully. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna take a short walk down to that pond. If you like this video, want to see more like it, let me know. Also, hit that subscribe button. I've hit the bell. I'll let you know when I post a new video. I'm gonna go again tomorrow. Maybe if I get up early enough to go with Andy Yak Angler again. Um, but stay tuned. I'm gonna go for a short walk. And I'll set back up. All right, guys. I don't know if you can tell or not. But these little aerators. I just, I've been walking along the shoreline here and I've seen groups of carp everywhere. So I, I see them swimming around over here too. So I'm going to try right here first and see how that goes. I don't know if you can see those coming up right there to the surface. Last night there was hundreds here, so I feel like it's a pretty good spot. There's some decent ones in there too. There we go. For something. Oh yeah, this should be easy. That's my first carp I've actually tried to catch. Pretty much. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing. <sighs> yup. Like a block from my, I'm like a block from my house. Bread. Yeah, I'm recording right now. Yeah. Ooh, I think I got a bite. Oh, I got one. I do. I, I, I got my ultralight out. I do, I do got one. I got my big camera behind me too. Dude, you gotta try this with me. Dude, this is a hoot. Um, no. But there's hundreds of them, they're easy to catch. I think you probably could. I, I was here last night and there was like hundreds of them around one of the aerators. Like, I could even hit something. Get you, do you want to be on? Do you want? Do you want to be on camera while I catch this one? I'm right here, talking to John A. While I, uh, oh, good, he got off. Not touching. Talk, talking to John A. Here while I'm carp fishing. Where are you at, Dallas? Are we really thinking about going to uh, Alaska? Like I'm serious, like a real thing. I'll call him today. Yeah, I've got to figure out what that is going to entail. Because I'm going to try catching a few more of these little carp. This is kind of a hoot on ultralight, actually. Um, I, that place I rents the kayak would be my guess. Dude, you got, you got to try this with me. I'm debating whether or not I want to get up at 3.30 in the morning and go fishing with Matt tomorrow. Uh, for big largemouth, he wants to get the morning. He wants to get the morning top. He wants to get the morning topwater bite at, do, at daybreak. Oh well, he's serious. Oh, I got another bite. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, got him. That's my second fish with Johnny on the phone. Uh, yeah, if I if I touch them, that counts. I don't want I don't want to touch them. 
This one's on the big. This one's on the big shiny camera. Yeah. Oh, I got another. I got another bite. I got another bite. Oh. Oh yeah, I got him. I got him. Yeah, this is a good one. Hey, he's really running. I think there's something in here other than carp too, because I had something to chase my bread. Oh yeah, this, this is a better one. No, it's too small. I think it's just like, oh yeah, he's pulling drag. It's so fun on the ultralight. Oh yeah, this is a better one. I mean, not as far as like carp standards go, but for this pond, yeah. When are you gonna put a video up? Yeah? That's pretty, can you do it in five hours? This is probably a good three, three, three and a half pounds. Maybe four. Yeah. Uh, I talked to my Rappler rep. His buddy just got a seven pound, 15 ounce smallmouth. Uh, by Brainerd Lakes. He missed the state record by an ounce. His Rappler scale went from 7.9 to 8.2, so he thought he had it, but officially it was 7.15. Oh, I got another one. Oh, I got a bite. Yeah, got a bite. Oh yeah, I hooked him. This might be a sucker. No, it's carp. <laughs> Dude, you could do this all day long. Yeah. All the carps. What's that, five or six for me? I think I'm gonna end this. Uh, yeah, what, how many of the four since I've been on the phone with you, right? Oh, all right, I got a good one. Okay, I'll let you go. Bye. All right, I've been talking to my fishing buddy, John A. Like always, I'll link his channel below. And I got a good carp, I think, to uh, stop on today. Having a ball out here about a block from my house, my ultralight. Get a little drag going. I had about an hour to kill, and like I said, I've never carp fished before, so catching six, seven carp in about an hour, that's not so bad. I'll definitely do this again. Well, they're not huge carp for the ultralight. It's, these are a blast. Got about a half, half acre lake out here. I don't know, some apartments around here. Saw some guy trying to bass fish it last night, but I, there might be some bluegills as well. I'm not gonna lie, these carp put a pretty good fight for their size. All right, I'm gonna take him off the hook. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll be out back again somewhere tomorrow, so stay tuned.